Hey guys, today we are going to be making clay sea creatures, starting with a fish. First, when you get your clay, it's important that you roll and squeeze it to get those air bubbles out. And you can use some clay water called slip to smooth your clay out. Now to make the fish, you're going to start by separating your clay into two pieces. You're gonna take that bigger chunk and roll it into a ball or sort of an oval that you go ahead and smush a little bit flat. When you are creating the body, you want it to be no thicker than your finger so that it doesn't crack or explode in the kiln. Now you're gonna take that other chunk of clay and form your tail, also saving one small piece out for a fin later. Now to connect these two pieces, we're going to score and slip. Score is making these little lines in the clay, and then slip is that wet clay water that you use like glue. Press them together, then you can go ahead and smooth them out, making sure to properly join those two pieces. After I've smoothed my fish out, I'm going to take some clay tools to add texture. I'm going to use a tool to simulate scales. I'm also going to use a thin tool to create a smile and an eye. Now I'm taking that last little piece of clay, shaping a fin, adding texture, and again, I'm going to score and slip to add the fin onto the body. If I don't score and slip, again, making scratches and using the clay water, then that fin won't stick onto the fish it will pop off in the kiln. I'm going to touch up my fish, go back and add any texture, and the final step is to write my name on the back using a thin clay tool. There's my fish. Next, we're going to make a starfish. So starting with smoothing out a chunk of clay and flattening it, I'm going to mark five spots where I'm going to slice my clay. Now, in each of those places where I've sliced, I'm going to gently grab the clay out and pull it to a point. This is going to create the five points of my starfish. This step is to simply work my clay into five smooth arms of the starfish. To clean my starfish up a little, I'm going to take some clay tools and cut it neatly. my starfish away from the mat, I'm going to smooth and clean it up. Finally, I'm going to use some tools to add texture. And the last step is to use a tool to write my name on the back of my clay. There's my starfish. The last one we're gonna do is a sea turtle. For the sea turtle, when you get your clay, after you've worked out the air bubbles, you wanna separate your clay into two pieces. You're gonna take the big piece and roll a big smooth ball, again, using that clay water to smooth it out. And we're going to make a pinch pot. To make a pinch pot, you push your thumb into the center of the ball and rotate while pinching to open up a pot. This is going to be the shell of my sea turtle. Now, after I smooth it out, I'm gonna go ahead and put my name on the inside. 
Now I'm going to use clay tools to add the texture of a turtle shell. Now I'm going to take that extra piece of clay that I saved out to make the head, four little feet, and a tail. I'm going to roll and smooth the head, then take the four little pieces to roll a ball and flatten them for feet. Finally, I roll a tiny little snake for a tail. Again, we need to score and slip these pieces on. Scoring is making the scratches on the surface of the clay, and slip is at wet clay water. After you press them together, you need to smooth them so that they stay together. Remember, if you don't score and slip, your pieces might fall apart when I fire them in the kiln. There I have my turtle. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like.